What do you mean? So here we are hanging out in uh, New York City with this guy, Justin Bieber. I think that's your name. Like we've My name is yeah, Justin, Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. Yeah, we've we've heard of you once or twice. I need to start this off on a serious note. Okay. I need to apologize to you. Okay. Okay. So here's the deal. Um, over the past couple years, I, and I'm being serious here. I can speak for all media, and I'm going to apologize for all media. I had a little fun with with some of your antics. Don't worry about there it. There were jokes made, but I always knew you were a talented kid. I always knew you you were a, you were an amazingly creative uh, musician and artist. But I feel bad, and now that I've seen bad. you've grown up, I've, the Comedy Central roast is really where I realized, like, you grew up. Yeah. And you matured. So, on camera, for all media, I am apologizing to Justin Bieber. I was wrong. No worries. You are a legit human being, and I'm not going to make fun of him anymore. What do you mean? We only have gotten what do you mean and of course where are you now originally uh, was supposed to be was an acoustic song correct yeah sidetrack on that are we ever going to get the acoustic uh we might we might put it out as just like an exclusive or something okay. i don't know all right cool all right so going back to the music and, and showing a lot of growth not only as a person but also as an artist did the music um did the music develop you as as growing and and growing up and maturing or was it the other way around did you did you see the music come from the maturity or was it the maturity came from the, the music, music was made through the whole process of my journey so um there was there were times where i was heartbroken and i was writing about that there was times when i was um when i was scared and when i was just like that's what's beautiful about music is that you can you can express yourself at where you're at and um that's i think with this new album um I kind of changed the direction because it was heading in um, not a dark place, but just a place of just I think selfishness, and I think we all struggle with selfishness. And um, I just want to be the kind of man who can make my I, like the art is for me, like the creativity is for me, but um, I'm making it for the world to enjoy. That's the whole purpose of it. And if as soon as I start making it about me, that's when the tables start to turn, and that's when you start falling on your ass dude because <laughs> it's it's not about us it's it's literally about just relationships and growth and um i'm just appreciative that you're having me back on your show and um and we're gonna we're gonna crush life for the next couple of years you and i together like we can yeah, uh, we're gonna okay not? let's do it are we going out to lunch after this let's do it i i'm not gonna pay because i right. can't afford it all right i'll pay so we'll get mike Tell chester me. to pay oh mike chester you got the label card <laughs> oh way, no not anymore <laughs> Oh, that would be you do. <laughs> what do you mean? Everybody in the room makes it up. Your first number one, uh, the 23rd song in history to debut at number one. Some of the most brilliant marketing and pre-promotion I've ever seen on a record. Thank Congratulations you. on that number one. Thank you so much for writing this song because I have been in every single relationship in my life and asked the question, what the hell do you mean? What are you talking about? Did you write this song based off of a relationship or need relationships? need an anthem, right? We really do because I, honestly, everything you've spoken about, you know, one minute you want to make love, the next minute you want to argue, argue, and then yeah. you're crying, and yeah. then you're laughing, and it's pulling back and forth, up, down, and in between. Um, did you write this based off of a specific relationship or relationships, or were you just writing this in general because you know men struggle so much with women? I just think, yeah, it's just a good, it's a good mantham, like I was saying before. It's just, I, we've all been through it, and uh, I just wanted to just write about that. And of course, it's going to be the lead single from yep. the new album, November 13th. Yep. We don't have a name. Nope. No, okay. And if Scooter were here right now, he would tell me we to do shut have up. We don't have a name, but I just, I just can't, uh, I just can't tell. Okay, all right. Uh, but November 13th? November 13th. November 13th. Yeah, that's I've the, seen that's, I think that's the some of the release. artwork uh, teasing. It was like a lock. Is that maybe something having to do with the name? <laughs> What do you mean? Did you know that Esther has like its own fan account? The, at the puppy Esther. How I many swear, calls does it have? Um, what, I don't have my phone on me. Like close to over 100,000, 200,000 followers. 
It's since at the puppy Esther, and it it was shout out Esther. It's my baby. The puppy Esther. Yeah, you're in love with Esther, right? I love her. She's the best. Have you ever had a dog before? I have had a dog. Yep, yeah. I had a dog, and he passed away this past year, and that was kind of sad because he was young and he got hit by a car. Well, I did not know that, and now I feel awful. Okay. I'm really sorry about no, that. Okay. You're not gonna end the interview now. No, no. All right, good. He's smiling. We can roll on. What do you mean? Um, moving right along, skateboarding. I didn't know you were like such a great skateboarder. Yeah, I'm getting better. I'm not like great yet, but I'm getting better. Uh, everything I've seen backstage at Jones Beach, the Billboard Hot 100 Music Festival, yeah. you were skateboarding backstage. Is that like pre-concert, pre-show ritual? Um, Is it like a hobby that you really do like to relax? A ritual. I just enjoy it. Yeah, I just like just love skating. Your just mind is nowhere else but just trying to land the tricks. You know? Have you always my, been a skateboarder? Not always. I dibble dabbled. When I was young, I just like skated around and stuff. And But I never really took the time to really learn. Would you ever want to go pro? Uh, I, don't, I don't think I could handle all the bones breaking. Because stuff. I got to be honest, a couple weeks ago you were doing a radio show and it was when you were announcing that you were going to be releasing new music in 30 days. I thought when the interview started out, you were talking about skateboarding. I honestly thought the announcement was going to be that you were going to be a pro skateboarder. No, no, no. I really thought that's what it was going to be. And I was like, all right. Well, you were wrong. I hope this works out for him. But, you know, I think music is the way to go. Um, so what does a day off for Justin Bieber look like? I've always wondered this. This is part of those questions I ask that really have no meaning and, and really are senseless. A day but off. I'm so fascinated by what artists do, like what artists eat. What, what do you day, What do you do I'm on a, your day off? I'm just a regular guy. I enjoy conversation and hanging and watching movies and chilling. Okay, what's on your DVR right now? On oh, my DVR. Do you have a DVR as Justin Bieber? Does Justin Bieber have a DVR? I do have a DVR, I think. When was the last time you were able to catch up? <laughs> Do you have like episodes of like from like the late nineties, like that's where you actually started watching? Um and it's no. been so long. Uh, Friends. Oh, Friends is a great show. It's my favorite show of all time. Friends is so good. What season are you on? I think I've watched every episode. Oh, you have watched every episode. Yeah. Okay. So you know about Chandler Bin Miss Chandler Bong, you know all mm -hmm, about mm -hmm. okay. All right. All right, he knows his friends trivia. What do you mean? We now need to do fan questions, if you're okay with that. Let's do this it. This is where it'll get fun. No more boring questions for All me. Right. Throw those out. All right, I'm going to relax here and lay back. You mind if I just chill? Chill. A little bit? Okay. Chillax. So the fan questions, we opened it up on Twitter. Hashtag Psych Asks Bieber. It was actually trending last week. So thank you for allowing me to use your name in conjunction with mine and get trending on Twitter. Um, the first one comes from one of your biggest fan tweeter. Twitter? Twitter. Tweet accounts jbcrew.com are you really the one who's tweeting and instagramming or do you have somebody who helps you out i instagram myself do you uh -huh. okay and then twitter do you have somebody helping um yeah i do it both myself okay all right <laughs> you're smiling is that it are you no no i do everything myself dude <laughs> do everything yourself yep. okay uh, snapchat rick the sizzler rick what's the sizzler that name mean it's just a funny character i gave myself okay yeah i like it rick the sizzler rick the sizzle fangirl nikki dream collaboration dead or alive um Michael Jackson. I figured you were gonna say Michael Jackson. Or like No, leave it at Michael Jackson. I think that was good enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any collabos on the new album? Um, or are we not allowed to say that? Yeah, I don't think I'm allowed Can to you say yes or no? Yes. Yes, okay, yes. There are collaborations on the new album, which may or may not involve the title being a lock, perhaps with the fan art. At Beaver's Musicals, is there a certain age you would like to be married and have children? Um, Do you have it like set in your mind when you're gonna set, age, no. set down? I wanna, I wanna settle down. Um, probably thirty or something. Thirty, okay. I'm thirty-two, and I've been with my girlfriend for four years, and I'm in no shape to get married or have children. Well, so take your time then. God bless you being so young and having a dream of being thirty to get married. <sighs> How many kids do you want to have? Like three. Three kids, okay. Yep. All right, college is expensive. Yep. Just throwing that out there. Um, at Kid, I don't know how to say this. Is this your nickname for Kid when you're young? Kid Raw. What does it mean, by the way? What do you mean? What do you mean? Um, it just time. my dad actually started a uh, uh, username, and it was on this like. Was it AOL Instant Messenger? Something like that, and <laughs> so I just signed up as Kid Raw because it was like a book he read. Um, Lord Raw was a character, and uh, so I just put Kid Raw and stuck and. 
when I made my first YouTube video, I just, I'd already had this YouTube account, and I just put it on there, and I didn't, obviously didn't know it was going to get like this. Blow up, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, at Kid Raw, 2156, yeah. what is the lock screen on your phone? Uh, I don't know where my phone is at. I don't even remember. I think it's... Do you change it? Probably a picture of me, dude. <laughs> a picture, not Esther, but of yourself? Yeah, not... Not meaning to be <laughs> self-centered or anything, but no, I... I, I so not just, Mike Chester? No, and it's not even because I... I <laughs> I'm, I like myself. I just like... Just the art I get it. and the creativity behind the picture and stuff. I just enjoy it. I get it. Okay. At JB Perfections, this is the last question. Do you not trust? I'm asking the right ones. Don't yeah. worry. I just feel like you don't trust me. Oh, I trust Okay. You. All right. Good. <laughs> At JB Perfections, in one word for each, describe yourself in 2013, the year 2013, and describe yourself today in 2015. One word for each year. Hmm. Start with 2013. We'll end on the 2015. Because I feel like the 2015 is going to be a really good word. Time. One word description of yourself. In 2013, the year 2013, and now you're looking at yourself 2013, in 2015. One word. Um, confused. Okay. All right. And 2015, the word. We're gonna end the interview here, so this is really got to be a good one. It can't be gosh. Focused. Focused. I like it. Determined. Focused. The new Justin Bieber. Yeah, Bieber is it. back. Dude. Bieber is thank back. Thank you so much. Yeah, I finally it's got not you. a comeback, so, but I'm back. I like it. Okay, and now he's leaving. Oh, I, you're, it, gonna, you're leaving is this me? It? This is this it? Oh, I got to clean is, up. Do I, can I leave help. this guy? You can. This guy sucks. I'm just kidding. Hey. This guy's the best. <sighs> love him. Oh. <laughs> it's a man love. That's going to be the teaser for the interview right there. Justin Bieber kissing me.